Ready? Hi, we're Heavy Metal Beer Club. <laughs> <laughs> And today we are doing three different pumpkin beers. What's the fart? Oh, we found a Kentucky pumpkin barrel ale, 10% barrel aged pumpkin beer. So of course I'm just gonna be in heaven. And this is one of my favorite pumpkin beers is Shipyard, but we have not had this one that's called Shipyard Smashed Pumpkin from Maine, and it's just a different style, so we'll see what that's all about. We have not read the cans and cheated about it, so we'll see what it is. This is the Seven Tier Brewing Company Pumpkin Nitro Imperial Ale. So we're really excited about that. What was the uh, ABV on that? It was an 8.6% yeah. alcohol by volume. We've been wanting to try a, a nitro straight pumpkin because we've had a coffee one but we haven't had a, a just a regular pumpkin so we can't wait to try that. I'm having a dilemma. Let's do wait. the let's do the shipyard first. Okay. Let's get a nice pour on that. Check these out. Ooh, oh look at the color. Nice and orange. That is orange. Orange. As a pumpkin beer should be. Yep. Not shipyard let's for see you. Here. Look at that. That um is uh, pretty clear, very effervescent. Oh yeah, you get pumpkin scent mm -hmm. just right away. We'll Very put this one pumpkin. up here on the... Some of the pumpkin ales are less of real pumpkin. This really smells like pumpkin. I'm getting like a candy pumpkin out. I even kind of uh, sweet potato. Yeah, molasses I smell too. Yeah, yeah, I, I get that. Which they, I think they put that in pie sometimes. Cheers. Cheers, let's give this a try. Mm, very pumpkiny. That is. I would say this mm. one tastes like it smells. Anyway. One of the differences with the other shipyard that we have, the not smashed pumpkin that's just called Shipyard Ale, the other one, this is the higher percentage, so it's a little heavier. Yeah, and you can taste it. I, I would say so you can taste a little bit more yeah. alcohol in it. And pumpkin. A little less spice, a little more pumpkin. So maybe that's why it's called smashed pumpkin. I would say this is a, a light body. Light to medium. It's a little heavier than their a uh, regular pumpkin ale. It would be fun to have tasted that next to their regular one too, but I know yeah. what that one's like. And this one's a little more... It's very clouded than their regular pumpkin ale. Yeah, not completely clear, not mm -hmm. brilliant, but yet I wouldn't say it's a hazy either. Mm -hmm. The flavors are very bold. Yeah, really bold. And on the tasty meter, which is a one through five. I love pumpkin beer so much. I'm gonna give this a 4.5. <laughs> That's funny, we did it again, because I was going to say 4.5 also. Yeah. yeah, it's very... Say it too. <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing is, I think I like the regular one a little bit more than this. Really? Yeah. Wow, no, I don't. I like this one more. But I like this a lot too. Than I like the regular one. The other one, one I think is like 4.5% or something like that. It's definitely more boozy. You can mm -hmm. taste it. You can taste the difference. The alcohol more boozy. content in it. Shall we do the barrel yeah. age next? Because I know that it. the, we'll the pumpkin is gonna be uh, a little bit heavier. Oh yeah, Kentucky pumpkin ale. This is, I'm real excited to try this one out. He saw this and he grabbed it and that was it. It comes in a four pack, that's special. That one also is uh, very orange has a nice copper color to it. This is more clear than the shipyard. We saw it at World Market and Total Wine. Give it a scent. Yeah, I'm not getting a lot of pumpkin. I'm getting more of a hint of pumpkin. I'm not getting a whole lot of bourbon, but... I'm getting a hint of, of bourbon, a but not a whole lot. I can't wait to taste it. That's gonna be yeah. where the real deal is. Let's try it. All right. You taste the pumpkin. The flavor kind of changes in your mouth as you drink it. It's very unique. It has a light to medium mouth feel. It's boozy. Yeah, definitely boozy. I'm getting a little bit of bitterness out of it. I'm tasting the bourbon for sure. There's not a lot of spice on it. No, and not, it's not, not like- Not as much spice as I would kind of hope. Yeah, and it's not as sweet as uh, other bourbon barrel aged beers. And so, uh, which I like because I don't like it too syrup. On the tasty meter? which is, again, reminder, one through five, what would you say on this one? It's good, though. This one I'd give a, a 4.1. And I was going to go with a 4.0. A little bit less than the shipyard, but very nice. Yeah, both very different from each other. Neither of these have been really spicy, so I can't wait to see what the third one's like. Yeah, the flavors out of the shipyard just are bold. They just really come out. Where the flavors out of the Kentucky barrel age is uh, more subtle. I am tasting where you know you're drinking a pumpkin which I love. Now. The pumpkin. 
that too. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, now this smells really more more spicy, a little more pumpkin spice. This yeah. time of year is the best, peepers. And that has the, the color like cider, wouldn't you say? Like um, good apple yeah. cider. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's slightly hazy. Slightly. It's not completely clear. Smell this. Smell it cooked. <laughs> wow. That is a different scent. Uh huh. I That's smell... funny that you say cookie because I would say like a sweet, a yeah. sweet cookie. Like a, um, like a pumpkin cookie with nutmeg in it and brown sugar too. Yeah, like a, a pumpkin cookie. I'm trying to think of the, the exact cookie. Yeah, Almost like a Nella wafer. We like should a... sing a, ha a Halloween song. <laughs> it's hum. Silver Shamrock. <laughs> it's hum. It's like a, a pumpkin vanilla wafer. Kind of like I'm getting cinnamon. I get vanilla. Of course, the pumpkin is stands out quite a bit. We'll see if it tastes like my pumpkin spice moon pie. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't taste it, so I couldn't really give that a comparison. That's smooth nitro. Mm. Cinnamon, tons of flavor in it. Yeah, that's very flavorful. I think we may have mentioned this in a show, but some people may not like a nitro beer because you're not getting the, um, the You don't fizz. get the fizz out of it. But it's so smooth to drink. And uh, on the tasty meter, the one through five. On a one through on five. On the pumpkin. I'd give this a 4.7. And I'd even bump it up a little higher. I'd go with a 4.8 okay. on this. Um, yeah, I mean, I love these. I'm just giving room, a little bit of room for <laughs> that other one that'll come in to my life and say, ooh, that's the best That one. is the best but, one. But this is so good. I'm getting now, as it's opening up, I'm getting a little bit more of a, a bitter flavor out of it also. They are uh, so, so different unique. from each other. Yeah, yeah, all three are really different, but they're also good. They're all 100% pumpkin beer. So if you don't like pumpkin beers, you're not gonna like these. If you love pumpkin beers, you're gonna wanna try all of these. For me, my favorite would have to be the Shipyard. And I think I scored it that way too. For me, the Shipyard's my favorite. Yeah, so we read on another one. So yes, happy Halloween. Try these three. We're gonna be back with more. So please stay safe, drink responsibly, and stay, stay metal. metal.